Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to do this nice, lovely little geometry problem that has to deal with distance. So here we have a line segment, actually. And here we have the points S, T, U, and V. And we're told that from S to U, that's 18 units. And from T to V, that is 18 units. And the question is, we want to find the distance between T and U. So this distance right here, given that SV, the distance from S to V, is 30 units. So actually, this is not that difficult of a problem, but it's certainly kind of easy to uh, confuse. But if you know how to figure this out, go to put your answers uh, into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, uh, of course, I'm going to solve this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you find this video entertaining or exciting, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this. Um, kind of uh, explain the problem. You know, even if you just looked and I didn't say anything, the problem is, you know, hopefully uh, self-explanatory. We want to find TU. And this right here, when you have something like this in geometry, TU, these are endpoints, okay? And this line over this means a line segment, okay, which is quite different than this notation. If I have, let me just draw a little bit bigger. If I had two arrows on uh, over TU like this, this means line TU. So if I have points T and U, I would have a line with arrows. In other words, a line's going forever and ever. But a line segment is something that has endpoints from T to U. Okay, of course, that would be this um, notation right here. So if you're not familiar with geometry notation and all this kind of stuff, I'll give you some uh, suggestions on how you can learn this, but it's not that difficult. So I just want to make sure all of you understand that. But again, we want to find this distance TU. Let's go and take a look at the answer right now. So the distance is six units. Okay. Now we don't have any specific units of measure like inches, uh, centimeters, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, if you put TU is equal to six, well, then you got this right. So let's go ahead and celebrate that success with a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that you solved a nice, lovely geometry distance problem and you know a thing or two about line segments. They'll be so happy to hear that information. Now let's go ahead and get into this problem. And uh, really there's multiple different ways to solve this, right? You, you know, you kind of use a uh, common sense. The main thing you have to do is take the information given in the problem and really kind of construct, you know, really study it and then build out a model where you can kind of reason through in your approach to figure this problem out, okay? And one person could have took one uh, uh, approach, uh, which would just as well as another person. It's a different approach. As long as you got the answer right, that's all I care about, okay? And that's all your teacher's going to care about. But again, you want to justify your reasoning. Okay, so remember, the problem stated... We're given this uh, 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 graph right here, this figure, and we want to um, find the distance TU. Okay, we express that as TU with that line. We want to find line segment uh, TU, what that distance is again. And we're also told that SV, okay, is equal to 30. So that, that distance from S, point S, and point V, okay, you can see right here, is 30 units. So how can we approach this problem? Well, the graph right here, okay, might be a little bit confusing. What we can do is take this and kind of put this information on a similar graph, but uh, one that's going to be more useful to us. So let's start with point uh, S being zero, okay, as an endpoint. And we know that SV, the entire length of this thing, SV is 30. So if S is zero, V is at 30. Okay, so let's kind of go down here. We could see that. So S would be at zero. You can think of just this as a basic number line. V at 30. Now you can see I have U at 18. Now why did I put that there? Well, because you can see from S to U, if this is zero and U is a, uh, 18 units away from S, well then its coordinate on a number line would be 18. Okay, so... What we want to do is figure out 
the coordinate for t. All right, so how can we do that? Well, let's go back to our first initial graph. We know that t is going to be 18 units away or 18 units previous than v. Okay, right? So if we kind of think of a number line, if we know what t is, if we subtract away 18, we'll get to t. All right, so let's go and do that now. So 30 minus 18 is going to be 12, all right? So t right here is at 12 on a number line. Now, notice here I'm using this notation, these little bars around this subtraction. That's very important because absolute, you want to, um, when you take the difference of two coordinates and you're interested in finding distance, you always want to take the absolute value of that because uh, distance is going to be uh, in positive uh, units. Okay, So you're going to um, see those absolute value bars around distance, but that's what it means. So uh, just by basically the definition of absolute value, let's take zero, let's take five, and negative 5, just to be clear, if I said, what's the absolute value of 5? Well, it is 5. What's the absolute value of negative 5? It is also 5. And what's the definition of absolute value? The definition of absolute value is a dis distance, right? A number is from 0. Again, I'm emphasizing the word distance, i.e. it is positive, all right? So that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about uh, finding the distance. So that's why I'm putting in the absolute value. Just in case you went 18 minus 30, you would have a negative 12. So you're going to find the absolute value of that, which will always give us a positive uh, number. All right. So here we have S at 0, T at 12, U at 18, and V at 30. If I want to find the distance between uh, T and U, well, obviously this is going to be very easy to do. All we need to do is simply subtract uh, 12 from 18. 18 minus 12 would be 6. But if you went uh, 12 minus 18, you would have got a negative 6. No problem because you would have taken an absolute value and you still end up with a positive 6, um, which, of course, would be the distance of that line segment, TU. Okay, so hopefully, you know, this all makes sense. Now, initially, I was telling you about this notation and the various types of notation and concepts in geometry. So I'm going to recommend two uh, uh, courses in my math help program. Uh, this would probably be in alignment of a typical uh, geometry course. So I have a full complete geometry course, high school level geometry course, will teach you this and much, much more, pretty much everything you need to know at that level of geometry. Also I have uh, basic geometry concepts in my pre-algebra course. But if you're studying concepts where you're using this type of notation, then you probably want to check out my full geometry course. But nevertheless, I hope this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.